Now we are going to talk about ratio. While、well, rate discussed in the last section is defined as a comparison of quantities of two different kinds by division, ratio is a comparison of quantities of the same kind by division. The ratio of a quantity A to another quantity B is written as A to B or A over B, whereas A and B are both Non-zero quantities, and they are called the terms of the ratio. For example, there are ten male fish and twenty-five female fish in a tank. The ratio of quantities of the same kind, a ratio has no units. In a ratio, the order of the term is critical. The ratio of male fish to female fish is two to five. If we swap the terms and make the ratio five to two, this becomes the ratio of female fish to male fish. Keep in mind that the quantities involved in a ratio should be the same unit at the first place in order to make a ratio. Take this for example: we mix five hundred milliliters of orange juice concentrate with two liters of water. The ratio of the volumes of orange juice concentrate to water is not 500 milliliters to two liters, but 500 milliliters to two multiplied by 1,000 milliliters, which equals to one to four or one over four. We should make both volumes in the same units before calculating the ratio. Now consider the ratio nine to six. It can be expressed as nine over six, which, when simplified, equals to three over two, or three to two. Therefore, nine to six and three to two are equal ratios. A ratio is like a fraction; it remains the same when each of the terms are multiplied or divided by a same non-zero number. We can simplify ratios like we do to fractions. Forty to twenty-five can be simplified to eight to five. One over three to one over five can be simplified to five to three. We can find unknown in an equation with ratios. If five to x is equal to twelve to x plus seven, the value of x is found to be five. Sometimes. You will be asked to find values of other ratios from given equal ratios. Look at the following example. Let x and y be non-zero numbers. Given x plus y to two x minus y equals to three to two. In part A, find the ratio x to y. In part B, two x minus y. To x plus two y. Pause and think about it before proceeding to the solutions. As mentioned above, ratios can be calculated just as fractions. The ratio x to y is found to be five to four, from the ratio given in question part A, and that x to y equals five to four. It can be found that two x minus y. To x plus two y equals to six to thirteen. As we can see from the above demonstration, it can be expressed in the form of ratio or fraction to show the comparison of two quantities of the same kind. What if there are more than two quantities being compared? Ratios can also be used to represent the relation among three. Or more quantities of the same kind. For example, you have twelve, eighteen, and two lessons of maths, English, and arts, representatively, in a cycle. We can say the ratio of numbers of maths lessons, English lessons, and arts lessons is twelve to eighteen to two. Same as mentioned above, the ratio doesn't change. When each term in the ratio is multiplied or divided by a same non-zero number, twelve to eighteen to two 
can be therefore simplified to 6 to 9 to 1. We can also extract the ratios of any terms among the given ratio. The ratio of numbers of maths lessons to English lessons is 12 to 18. That equals 2 to 3. The ratio of numbers of maths lessons to arts lessons is 6 to 1, etc. Unlike a two-term ratio, a ratio with three or more terms cannot be expressed in a form of fraction. If two ratios have a common term, we can work out to combine these two ratios into one ratio. Let's say a to b equals to 2 to 3, and that c to b equals to 5 to 6. We first make a to b equals to 4 to 6, b to c equals to 6 to 5, and thereby a to b to c can be combined and equals to 4 to 6 to 5. Suppose there are three different types of banknotes in a wallet, a $100 note, $50 note, and $20 notes. The ratio of $100 notes to $20 notes is 2 to 3. The ratio of $50 notes to $20 notes is 1 to 2. If the total amount of all these notes is $670, Find the number of each type of notes. The ratio of $100 notes to $20 notes is 2 to 3, which equals to 4 to 6. The ratio of $50 notes to $20 notes is 1 to 2, which equals to 3 to 6. The ratio of $100 notes to $50 notes to $20 notes is therefore equals to 4 to 3 to 6. Let the number of $100 notes in the wallet be x. The number of $50 notes in the wallet is therefore 3x over 4. And the number of $20 notes in the wallet is then 6x over 4. The total amount of money is 670 is equal to x multiplied by $100 plus 3x over 4 multiplied by $50, plus 6x over 4 multiplied by $20. By solving the equation, we get x equals to 4, and therefore there are $400 banknotes, three $50 banknotes, and six $20 banknotes in the wallet. Now it's your turn. There are equal volume of T, and coffee in a teacup and a coffee cup, respectively. You first pour X volume of tea from the teacup into the coffee cup and mix it well. And suppose X is less than the original volume of the cup of tea. Then you pour X volume of the tea and coffee mixture back into the teacup. Now, is the ratio of volume of tea to coffee in the tea cup the same as the ratio of volume of coffee to tea in the coffee cup? Pause and try to work this out. The answer is the same. This is the end of the video. Thank you for watching. Please give us a like and subscribe to our channel. Click on the tab to watch the next part of the video series.